This is a 90-page document, and here we are facing the 15th of June deadline, and nobody knows. The people at the League of California Cities, the statewide organization that oversees and keeps track of legislation on which cities should support or maybe oppose or take no position, has no idea what's contained in that piece of legislation. And to me, it's shameful. It's absolutely shameful that the controlling party at the state of California can put these kinds of things through on a continual basis at the last minute before anybody has a chance to lobby or argue the, the merits of the case one way or the other and just has it adopted. And that's happened a year ago with redevelopment and now it's happening again with, with other ways to extract money from people that need it the most at the local just to me, um, it's 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 sickening, quite honestly, um, because to the city of Rancho Cucamonga that could mean to its fire district it could be millions of dollars if we were to lose that, and that means lives, that means um, some serious consequences, or it means the public, in order to sustain the services, are going to have to come up with some other source of revenue because. We have no other sources to solve this.